Mayor Parker, I brought you a copy, and also for Councilmember Adams, Head of Flood Committee. I printed this out this morning from Walter P. Moore's website, and he's talking about detention ponds, and this does pertain to Chapter 42. He said, detention basins are more economical over the life of the project when the operating costs are considered and benefit the environment. And I am here to suggest three things. I'm asking for three things today. Number one, that before you make or vote on any changes in Chapter 42, would you please have Walter P. Moore as an oversight, disinterested engineering company to oversee what's going to happen to the infrastructure? Because, you know, you're all talking about the surface things, but you don't look deeper at what's under the ground, what's under the streets. So number two, I am asked, and by the way, if you want a first-class city, go to a first-class engineering company. It's private. I don't advocate for him, but I looked at his website, and you know there's so many pages of awards that I couldn't print them all out. He operates on three coasts of the United States and internationally on huge, huge projects. I would recommend that he would oversee, or that his company would oversee anything y'all do before you vote on it. Number two, Chapter 9, make a change in there that you make every commercial developer of an acre or more to put in a detention pond, whether above or underground, at their cost, Council Member Burks, to your question. Let the developers pay for that, not us, little guys, paying for the flooding of the streets with Proposition 1. They flooded us out. And number three, I'm asking, because I live around Tour 17, and North and South I-10 was flooded out because they didn't put in their detention ponds that Walter P. Moore suggested they do, because they don't want to pay for it. And I'm hoping all the voters out there listen, because commercial developers contribute a lot to your campaign chest. And everybody needs to see who is paying to put you here in your offices that look over us, the little people. Now, let's just take the light off the bushel. Let's get transparency here, because that contract was hidden from us, the little people, that the turf side with the city and the Memorial City Management District had put in those four, four ponds, and they slid out of it. We didn't even know about it until after we flooded big time in April of 2009. And I'm not unboxed yet, because I'm waiting for the next flood that's going to flood me out again, because I know it's coming. And it's not right that I see this huge expansion of development all around us with not one detention pond in there. Thank you, ma'am. Your time has expired. Thank you, Ms. Myers. The chair recommends this comes from a Christian place. Could I? Yes, sir. I'd just like to make a statement. I don't receive any political contributions from Memorial City. Ms. Myers, thank you. I just want to say I didn't say that you did. Oh, okay. But thank I you. am aware thank that commercial developers do contribute heavily to politicians. Thank you, Ms. Myers. Thank you, Ms. Myers. Thank you. 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 Thank you